It's my turn. <laughs> Isn't she sweet? Oh my God. Right. Delicious. Perfection in every way. She's a good girl. She listens. You say something once. She listens. Come here. Come here. And she listens. She doesn't play ball. <laughs> Somebody's happy. Oh boy, what a save, guys. What a save. This is Sky. We rescued Sky today. Drove down to rural Miami where she was tied outside on a farm. Not spayed. She's in heat. Her first heat because she's six to eight months of age, we found out from the doctor. Again, not spayed, was not microchipped. She had fleas. She got all her vaccines today. She got dewormed. She got a cap star. She had blood work and we're waiting for the results of the blood work. We cannot spay her right away because she is in heat. I put a, a diaper on her. She's been allowing me to put a diaper with a sanitary wrap, but I took it off obviously because we're outside. When I tell you how magnificent this baby girl is and her coat is so thick. Come here, Skye. Come on, I just gave her the name today and it's almost, ah, you're checking out the, look at her, Everybody every dog. <laughs> every dog loves Leslie and Kevin's donation lounge. Do you like it? You gonna check that one out too? Go ahead. Yep, that was from Susan. What a save is all I have to say. Absolute perfection. Thank you, Zoe, um, our awesome friend and volunteer for, leave it, Sky. Um, for getting in your car this morning at 7 a.m. and driving all the way to Miami in rural Miami um, and getting there at 9.30. That's how long it took her from Delray. The traffic was atrocious, it always is. So thank you for driving there. We were originally supposed to take in two dogs, but when arrived, um, the second dog was nowhere to be found. Apparently it was running free on some farm and they could not catch it. So. I told them that if they can catch it to reach out and we will be more than happy to take that life in to get it off of that horrible life. No animal should be living outside, whether they're tethered or not, which I can't even wrap my head around. I can't even imagine this girl living outside in the heat. She didn't want to be outside today. She loved being in my car. She sat in the passenger seat like a little lady with her front legs crossed, staring at me, smiling at me with the AC blowing in her face. And I'm telling you, she smiles. She Sky, does. Sky, Sky, sit, sit. Does she know Spanish? She knows sit. She might know Spanish. The people behind this rescue house speak Spanish, and it's, I swear to God, when they were speaking loud, um, she was running up against the fence like she understood. Hola, hola, muy bonito. Aquí, 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 aquí. Ah, maybe you do know Spanish. You know Spanish? I don't know very much, guy. Yeah, guys, let me tell you something. That's on another whole other subject. Um, oh, you know, Mommy Godiva and Gage, I don't know what's happening with the dynamics, but I'm going to tell you, Carol, you are my witness, correct? Yeah, it's, it's, it's not good, I'm gonna be honest. Um, Gage is completely puppy mode, out of control, and... Their, their personalities are shifting. They've got two separate personalities now, and it could be because now that, now that she's spayed. spayed. But um, she's much more calm. She doesn't want anything to do with him. And he wants to play. And like He's play. like jumping on her head, growling, lunging, wanting to play really, really rough and she is running away from him. She, she will literally stand in that corner by the fence. He will keep going at her, and she just keeps turning away. She looks at me like, please save me. She's enjoying her She's walks, enjoying without, her him. walks without him. Um, she loves being with us and cuddle without him. He's unruly, he needs a trainer. I'm, I'm, this is me looking in on them. Hi, mama.
kind of watching to see what they do. But she's over it. I, I honestly think that, I think the bone slipped in through the couch. I'm going to go get it. Um, I honestly think that we're going to find out that they don't need to be together. I think if Godiva had a wonderful home where she's loved and adored, uh, they'd have to leave at the exact same time. Uh, both of them have a home. Gage with a family that has a yard and maybe another dog to play with. I think they'd be, I, I honestly feel in my heart, I can't even believe that I'm saying this. I feel like I'm, I'm crazy right now because it happened within two days time. That's when all this changed. I don't know if it's because she's spayed now. I, I really don't understand it, but I'm just telling you what we're seeing. We're all seeing it. Um, but she wants no part, no part of him whatsoever. She's running from him. He's way too much. Yeah, he does need to. You're right, Shelly. He needs a job. And she's barking. And there goes Sky. Uh-huh. Come here, baby girl. Come on. Come on. I'm sorry. Let's leave them alone. This is your time. This is your time, baby. So, um, as I was saying, no, I don't want to give the dogs trazodone. I don't want to drug them, Shannon. Um, there's no reason for that. They get, a, they get plenty of exercise all day with us. Lots of love from our team. Um, he's neutered. He's already neutered, Gage. I don't know what the deal is with him, but, you know, let's all... He's a high, Right, but let's also remember... He has been with us since he was two weeks of age. He has grown up in an animal hospital, and now he's living in a rescue house. Granted, he gets so much love, attention, exercise here at the animal hospital. We did the best we could, but you know we didn't have access to come in at night. Uh, but he was also younger. Yeah, it, we've been here for what two months? Two now? months, and he was three months when we got here. But the bottom line is, is what I'm telling you, is what we're witnessing with rescuing so many dogs. Um, you know, I just, if, if we can't find them a home together, I think that we're going to have to seriously think about separating them. And I think, I think mommy might be happier without him. I don't know, but they'd have to be both go to a home at the same time. One could not stay in this room without the other. Just can't happen. Back on our newest dog. Cause somebody asked me about Gage. Hi, Lisa. Um, Somebody asked me about them. That's why I updated. Sky is absolutely beautiful. Sky, come here. I'm videoing you, not the fence. Come here. Come on, baby girl. You want to give Carol love in? See if you can get her to come up, Carol. She just wants to be by your side. Very low maintenance. Uh, I took Sky to the animal hospital today at 1:30, and I got her all of her vaccines. Yeah, I know. Vaccines and blood work. Okay, I could do that. Just wanted to give her some time. She didn't, yeah, she pooped for me tonight. And she peed. Oh no, she didn't poop, she peed. Do you want to go inside, Mama, you hot? I wanted to see if you had to poop. You didn't poop for me tonight. You might, she might have pooped after dinner with Tiffany, I don't know. But Skye is, like I said, just a baby. Six to eight months of age. I'm waiting on the blood results. She can't be spayed because she's in heat. But an angel... When I took her to the animal hospital, and we were waiting in the in the lobby. She sat at my feet, didn't make a peep, didn't pull, just laid there, just laid there. I had my hand through the loop loosely, and she stayed right by my feet. In the car, she sat in the passenger seat, and she was an angel, just an angel. She's perfect. She's definitely border collie. Her coat is gorgeous. She's 37 pounds. And let's go in, Mama. Come on. Okay. Come on, baby girl. Let's go inside the room. Come on. No diaper tonight. We're going to let you trickle on the floor. <laughs> we'll clean up in the morning. Okay? You don't like that thing. Hold it. Watch your nose, baby. Watch your head. Down. Go. Go, mama. Go. Come on. Go, good girl. She listens very well. Oh, I don't know why this light doesn't come on quicker. That's stupid. Wait. You want to get some water? Come on, Sky. She loves the air conditioning. Come on, baby. She's not stupid. Come on, Sky. Come on. She knows your room. Come here. Eh, eh. Sky, come. 
Let's go. Inside. Go. Hold on, baby. That door is not shutting, so we have to really make sure we pull it tight. Let's close up. Me and you, baby girl. Quiet. Let me shut this fan off for a little bit. All right. Good girl. Good girl, Sky. You want to come up on the couch? Let me shut this volume down. Very loud, Sky. Come on. Come on. You're messing up your blankets, Mommy. They're messing up the couches. <laughs> couches are ruined already. They're disposable, I guess. Ugh. Come on. Come on up. There we go. There it is. Hi. You sit. Are you falling in the crack? Huh? Are you falling in the crack, Sky? <laughs> Are you falling? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> kisses, kisses, mommy. Oh, mama. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god, she's on my head. <laughs> Come on, sit down. Lay down. She just wants so much love. Can you sit down? Say hi, everybody. Say hi, everybody. Come on, sit down. Mommy, this, this is not comfortable for me. I'm sorry. Sit. Lay down. Sit. That's a girl. Lay down. That's not a good video. You're pushing the couch, honey. We're going to fall in between the cracks. Sit down. Hey. She can tell she's confused. She needs to be in a home. She doesn't want to be in this room. She definitely does not want to be alone. Uh, when I came here, the beginning of the night to let everybody out, she was just at the door and just looking and, and waiting for me to let her out. She doesn't want to be alone. Do you? You look like a, you look like a, a clown. Those markings. You're just, you're so perfect. It's like somebody painted all these beautiful markings on your body. I've never seen such a gorgeous, gorgeous, thick, beautiful coat. And she's a baby. She's just a baby. She's like six to eight months of age. She's finally getting the love she so deserves. You're welcome, Stacy Tierney. You know that's what we do best is saving these lives and turning them around and showing them love and that they're safe and getting them all the medical that they need, trying to erase their horrible past and giving them their, I'm sorry, I'm twirling, I'm just following her, and giving them their forever loving home. Um, we did have somebody reach out on the video earlier today, the first video we did of Sky, and um, it's a, a, a couple, two men that live in Tampa. They are absolutely smitten. I'm waiting for photos of their home and then further conversations. They want to come down this weekend and meet her. So we'll see. Hi, Susan. How are you? And you're right. She is not used to being inside. She's used to being on a tether. It was like a, a, a rope that was around her neck and tied. And that's where she was outside. Um, oh, you're welcome, Carol Shemp. We are... This is all we know how to do, you know. Um, I wouldn't trade it for the world. I'm not going to lie. We are completely exhausted physically and emotionally. But this is who we are. This is the journey that we chose. There's no turning back. There's no option for us. So we'll get through it. We understand when you just, you know, this is new for us. Our own rescue house and all the hours that need and we have to be here. I'm not, I'm not that person that can easily let go of the reins. Um, I'm a little bit of a control freak. I like to oversee everything and make sure everything in, is done properly. Um, I have an amazing, amazing group of volunteers, an amazing team. We're all, you know, just in it for the dogs. And that's what it should be all about. 
Um, Sky is doing great, Susan. The new babies, Pauline. Listen, I <laughs> I saw the video from our foster Christine when she brought them into her house and reunited them with the other two puppies. So she has four, four males. And the the barking and the noise, I I I lose my mind. Are you playing by yourself with your with your deer antler that Auntie Susan brought you? Yes, Auntie Susan bought us these wonderful, let me tell you something, these deer antlers and the bully sticks is what saves us because these dogs get bored here and they need these to chew on. Um, these are saving us with Gage. Gage has already chewed the corner of the arm. This is something new with him as well. The corner of the couch in his room is completely chewed off. So that couch is done. So we're going to need to get another. I'm not doing it until he's adopted. I will let that couch be shredded. I will not replace it until... Um, <clears throat> you know, it's, it's, he's, it's done, but he stopped. It was just a corner and then he stopped. I have to say this. I, you know, no animal, regardless, this is a beautiful setup. It's a home-like environment, but they're still here alone all hours of the night. You know, it's, yes, it's late. We got here at 10. We'll probably, I don't even know what time it is, to be honest. Usually leave around 1130 midnight. Um, and then Tiffany comes in at eight. So it's still hours that they're alone. Um, and during the day, the volunteers, depending on how many volunteers come in, then they get out more often. If it's just Tiffany, it's rotating. Um, you know, and we also have to remember something. We take them out, we put them back. We take them for walks. And when it's one person, it's, it's nonstop and it's hot. Um, and it also doesn't teach them to hold themselves. So they need to have some downtime as well. You know, they need to learn to entertain themselves just like children. You know, you've got to give them jobs and teach them how to keep themselves busy. It can't be, the life, this world is not entertaining, you, you know, your child or your dog 24-7. It's not healthy. <clears throat> As you can see, Sky sees I'm busy talking to all of you. And she's decided she's going to find herself something to keep herself busy. And it's a busy bone. Right, Sky? Do you like your busy bone? She's an angel. This is who she is. When I tell you she is perfection, she is perfection. Perfection. Thank you, Lisa. 11 p.m. Thank you. So we've been here for an hour already. Tiffany, uh, Carol's in with Albert. She's going to take him out one more time. So let me explain something to you um, about Albert while I have you all here. I don't know how much battery I have left. So, um, oh, 1%. Can't explain anything about Albert. Actually, I have to sign off because my phone is going to die. Um, but I hope that I gave you enough updates that you know what's happening and you get to see a little insight of our new sky. So I will check in with you all in the morning. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. This is Amy signing off. 1% battery as usual. Abandoned Dogs 100 Plus of Everglades, Florida with our newest rescue, Sky. Say night-night, Sky. Hey, night-night, everybody. See you in the morning. We love you.